All right. Let's talk about navigating bubble. If you open the editor, uh, it can start looking a bit overwhelming. So let's talk about the different sections and then actually look at them. Okay. So the first section we have is the design tab. Now this is where we design our applications interface, buttons, images, map, whatever, just what it looks like overall the user interface. Uh, we have the workflow tab. This is where we kind of take specific actions. We build the logic of each page. When this button is pressed, do this. When page is loaded, do this. So we add interactive logic to our application. We have the data tab next. This is where we define the database and okay, we want to save notes. We want to save messages. We want to save listings. We want to save a, whatever we want to save. We define the data types and that's what happens in the data tab of the editor. We have the styles tab of the editor. Uh, if you want all the buttons, if you want to apply a set of kind of visual styles throughout elements in our app, okay, we want all buttons to look green. The styles tab is going to where we're going to go change the color and it's like green throughout the app, right? So we have the plugins tab where we can install plugins free and paid, which will, which extend bubbles functionality in amazing different ways, like APIs, Stripe, card payments, lots and lots of plugins exist, right? Next, we have the settings tab. Now this is this allows us to control different settings in our application, such as the payment plan, uh, the domain, uh, invite external collaborators, choose different versions, lots of different things are done in the settings tab, okay. Uh, the logs tab, so once the app is up and running, uh, what do we see, what, what happened as our app was running? So logs shows us kind of like past performance. Uh, things like capacity, the server logs, where what's going on throughout our application and the scheduler. There's also lots of different things of currently running app information. Well, so let's do a little quick live demo. Okay. Uh, this is the bubble editor. When you create a new app, this is what you'll see. Uh, we're in the design tab. Uh, we have all these little elements. We're going to lay them down in a fashion. I was like, okay, this is a button. You can lay down an image, lots of different things. The design tab is where we are going to just talk about UI overall, how the page looks like. The workflow tab, again, lots of kind of, it's easier with the button. Let me see. Okay. So what type of logic that can happen? Okay. When page is loaded, do something when a button is clicked, do something. All right. So just logic in the logic tab, uh, data tab, uh, we're going to get into more detail in the next video, but this is where we're going to define our data types. So new, let's say if we had a marketplace and we wanted to make listings, we just define a listings data type and we have a listing name which is of a type text and just create. So we define our backend here. We see what existing data is here. Uh, config security and privacy rule configuration here, option sets file. We're going to go deeper into these over the course of the bootcamp. Styles tab, uh, again, we can here modify. If I go button, primary button color, and I want to make it look green, for example, this is where I would do it. Okay. If I go back to my app, the button, it's now green. All right. Okay. And I can click the undo button and it's back to blue. Uh, plugins again, uh, we can just add, go here, add plugins, huge library of plugins. So let's say we wanted a particular thing for like a payment system, like Stripe. Uh, there's many plugins there, plugins by bubble and there are plugins by third parties as well. So it's just, it's a huge ecosystem. Uh, settings tab again. So we have, we can choose which, uh, plan the app is on paid plan, free plan. Uh, we can add some extra capacity if needed. Uh, we can add purchase additional kind of capacity, lots of different settings, domain, configure, lots and lots of stuff here. Okay. Uh, logs. So this is basically showing us what's going on in the app. Like now that it's running at the moment, what happened five minutes ago? Okay. If I want to do a search, what happened in this app five minutes ago, nothing happened because nobody's using the app, for example. Okay. So, uh, that's good for a quick demo. Now we are of course going to explore the whole kind of editor and each section in way more detail as we go on. All right. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.